Um, listen, this is about um a Sherlock Holmes book, not my Sherlock Holmes book, which if I do it right. Will be on the playlist for um books too. But that's in the future. This is a sequel to the previous Sherlock Holmes book. This one's called The War Wilhelm Conspiracy. The second in the Lucy James series of books. Lucy James being Sherlock's daughter from last time. I forget if I mentioned her in my review, but that book was a lot better. No rating this time, because I don't want that to distract. And I just want to talk to the author at the end. But from one author to another. Um, but this book was not, not as good as the book I read prior. It was way too much set up. The twist wasn't really a twist, more as a... Oh, it's off in left field somewhere. You know? The twist was that Harriet was the killer. Harriet's Lucy James' friend, and that was the big shocking twist. But it, it really didn't get good. Till like chapter 40 or 30. 30 or 40. I was 30, 30 or 40 chapters into this thing. And it, it wasn't, it wasn't like Tarzan meets Sherlock Holmes, where that was written very action packed or or even, um, the second one of the, the, the Wizards of Ranelagh Chron Chronicles, where the action actually happened. No, this just felt like set up for the next book, and I hope that if I continue with this series, it doesn't feel like set up and then all of a sudden oh we're closing the gap we're closing the gap and then all of a sudden no i i i hope that the guy just had a bad day i mean it focused a little too much on Watson. I mean, honestly, the reason I'd pick up book three would be that that a different person read book three. I mean, the audio recording of book three but otherwise than that, if if it ends up being like this, I don't know. But keep in mind what I said about the first book. It was it was good. It was. 
I go even step further and say wonderful. But um once you got over the novelty of meeting Tesla in this one and even the end felt similar to book one because book one she acts the gunfight from book two was the scene I'm talking about and I don't remember exactly how in book one but there was a accidental puzzle there too and it felt like oh we're just retreading the same ground from book book one. Before, it felt like I couldn't write as good as he, this author does. But now it, it just felt like I definitely could out. I'll do this book. I don't know how you go from that to that, but kind of makes me want to pick up book three just out of curiosity. And it didn't rely too much on you knowing the characters. It wasn't like um, Fu Manchu where that was Kind of iffy <laughs> being read today. No, this was, they still had the interesting facts at the end, which I found really neat. Um, especially as someone who enjoys Tesla as one of his favorite historical figures. <sighs> All that was very interesting, but at the same time, will I pick up book three? We'll see in the future. Um, I don't know what the next actual book will be, but more comics to come. Um, keep reading books, people. You have anything to add, Mom? The original book, by the way, was The Last Moriarty. It was good. You can watch that, you can watch that video and more here on the Other World According to Bob channel. Yeah, that's all. Enjoy the show.